Presidency University School of Management's uh, online fest. Prudentia is on its way and wonderful event this has been because 300 plus students have already participated and today is just the first day and the person behind it, the pillar behind it I should say, Nisha is here conducting the fest for herself. Nisha, what's happening? sitting here, stationed right here, and another MC sitting in Tamil Nadu. That's what online does, right? It has become a grace, right? Over to Shakti. Well, greetings everyone. Today I, Shakti Chauhan, and my co-host Bhag. So, first participant, I would like to call Likit Ravi to, uh, please, uh, we will, I would like to welcome Likit Ravi to come forward and to start, her, uh, start his act. Perfect, yeah. Alright, can you hear me clearly? Uh, yes, Likit, we can hear you. Awesome. So, um, good afternoon, Ramya. Yeah. We were told to be a little sensitive by the organizers, and as a male parcels, I get, I get what that mean. Uh, get what that means. So, you know, we can be a little tipsy at times, but we're just thinking of it from a female participants out of context that sounds a little ins insensitive not gonna lie uh, it's like you guys targeted them and the irony is I don't see any female participants yet so uh, you guys scared them away like uh, the whole life they're like oh my god Priya you need to be a little sensitive in public and then they come here they're like sensitive or uh, you're also sensitive uh, but yeah anyways uh, I love my mom you know uh, we we all love our moms just nod your head if you love your mom yeah 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 a little bit really not too much Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, one of the most wholesome thing I would say is getting kissed on the forehead while sleeping. And that's obviously not if you're in jail. So, I'll, I'll try to be sensitive throughout. Sorry. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Likit, everyone. I'm from Christ University, Bangalore. And I study there. Uh, there's no other affiliation with, with that, uh, with the set of words that I said previously. So, I've done stand-up for a bit, I think four times right now, and that's not much, but uh, all, all online, and usually I don't really make jokes, I just read out the news and uh, it usually works out, but, uh, but anyways, uh, too sensitive, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought of keeping the theme of the show, I thought of making a theme, and I came up with exploring opportunities, right? I thought of keeping a theme, uh, I did my commerce in 11th, and I went on, I did my BCom, and... Uh, I didn't really explore much, that was the whole point. I did basic stuff and small little incident came in mind. Talking about exploring opportunities, uh, the, I had an incident with a confrontation with a beggar once. Uh, yeah, I'm going to explore all opportunities. This happened around two COVIDs ago, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, two COVIDs ago. There's, there's, there's all kinds of COVIDs now. Like now we're calculating time based on COVID. There's, there's Delta, Lambda, there's Kappa, and where the heck is Alpha, Beta, Gamma? Like I wake up one day, I'm like, the Delta variant is out. And I'm thinking, was, was I in coma for one year? And then I realized that WHO realized that when you stop snitching on countries and saying UK variant, Brazil variant, and all that, and they're like, now we're just going to give them names and joy, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. But uh, yeah, I was going to play football with a couple of my friends, and I was crossing the road. Halfway through, I got stopped by a beggar. It's usual stuff, like, uh, if you guys from Bangalore, you know Silkwood. Uh, that's where I got stopped, this is where police come and chill. So I nod my head, and usually these guys empathize. Yeah, I didn't have cash, I was a student, I didn't have cash. I nod my head, and usually these guys, they, they walk away. So he, he didn't, for five seconds, he was just standing there. And I told him that, and then I decided to like actually tell him, I told him I don't have cash. And at this point, it's been around three three seconds, like, like a, a good, a good minute almost and at this one he hits me with the craziest line he says it's okay sir we take phone pay google pay paytm and upi i was so shocked like I, I was literally i felt like i was in coma for like 10 seconds and two traffic jumped went fast 
and like my my mom who has three masters degree doesn't know how to use UPI and this man is coming here with a, a UPI as a beggar. Like my emotions went from full shock to respect all the way to inferiority complex because he had a better phone than me. And then, uh, so I thought I'd give him 20 rupees, you know, as UPI, I was going to give him 20 rupees. So uh, I, I paid, I was paying, and he walks away. This man didn't even have the respect to wait for me, he walks away. I, so I, at this point, I'm, I'm like feeling the most rejection that I've ever felt in my life from a beggar. This is like Anil Ambani level rejections. And then I didn't pay him, only I cancelled the payment, I walked away. I'm like, why support the beggar economy?